Good morning, friends. It is round two, P2, day 16. I am getting ready for work this morning, so I thought I'd show you how I make my salads. Um, stats real quick. On Saturday, I was 135. On Sunday, I was 134.8. And this morning I am back up at 135.6 because I overate yesterday. So that's kind of boring to me. And instead I'm just going to show you my salad and uh, let you see the dressing and the way that I go about making the salad depending on how much of a hurry I'm in. So first things first, I am using MCT oil. This is not on protocol, but many of us use this oil. Um, it's a clear, tasteless oil. Here's what it looks like. It doesn't have really a smell or a taste to it. And so I have one cup of MCT oil. And I am using two to three lemons before you cut their large lemons. Before you cut the lemon, I want you to zest the lemon and what you're after is the peel. And you're only after the yellow part, not the white pithy part. That's bitter, but you want the peel, the yellow part off the lemon. So there's three different methods of using to get this. You can use a regular grater. This is a grater box and this is the fine side. You can use what's called a zester, and it has little holes at the top with little knives on it. And you run it along the lemon like this to pull the peel. Or you can use what's called a microplane zester. And this is my preferred method. I started in the beginning with the box grater and then I moved on to what's called the zester and then I went to the microplane. So <clears throat> this yields results very quick, very light. It really only takes the yellow part. So here is the lemon itself and all it's done is remove the peel. Okay, so I have one tablespoon of lemon peel or zest. And I'm going to add that to my dressing. Again, you want to make sure you zest the lemon before you cut it. And then I used about two and a half large lemons. I was after uh, a half a cup plus two tablespoons of lemon juice. So again, two to three lemons yields about a half a cup plus that additional two tablespoons. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my dressing. I did remove the seeds with a fork after I juiced the lemon. And as far as juicing methods, in the past vlog that I did on California Kickers, I showed three different ways of juicing. <coughs> so refer to that to see different juicers. And then I'm going to use agave. Now it called for honey and it called for three tablespoons of honey, but since that is also not on protocol, I switched to the agave. And this is 10 servings and it's two tablespoons. So I, I'm sure you could probably use Torani I think that that would most definitely change the taste because it's a caramel flavor. You might use a vanilla. Uh, the dressing is already fairly sweet, so I think the Torani may or may not. I don't know yet because I haven't tried it alter the flavor. So two tablespoons of agave, pouring that into the dressing. And then I would add salt and pepper to taste. Now I know for some of you that whole to taste thing is hard to understand and so if you're unsure you just put a couple 
couple rolls. I just use a regular pepper grinder. And then I have sea salt, which is also a grinder. And I add that. And then this is just a ball canning jar. And I just take the jar and shake it up to make sure that agave gets completely distributed throughout the dressing. You want to store this in the refrigerator. You can have the recipe split it in half, but this is about 10 servings and it, it lasts quite a while, but you do want to keep it refrigerated. Okay, so to go about making the salad, uh, I'm in a hurry this morning, so I used regular boxed lettuce. Now, some people indicate that there is starch in with these lettuces to keep them separated. Um, I could not find starch anywhere in the ingredients. That doesn't mean it's not in there. This is a organic 50-50 mix of spring mix and 50% and 50% baby spinach. So I grabbed two handfuls of that and put it in my salad container. If I wasn't in such a hurry, I would just use half a head of romaine lettuce and slice it up and put it in there. So I have about two cups of lettuce. I have about a handful of cherry tomatoes. I don't cut them up, I just put them in there. And then I also add a cucumber. I just pulled this out of my garden. This is a lemon cucumber. It looks just like a lemon. It doesn't taste like a lemon. And then you just pull the cut the top off and then cut the rest up just like you would a normal cucumber. I don't peel it. I just chop it up, add it to my salad. Um, it doesn't make the salad wilt because it's not a particularly juicy item. And so I just chop it up into pieces add it to my salad. I pour my dressing. This is a handy little container. I think I got it at, it was called the container store or storables or something like that. It's a, you could probably get it online. Can't even see who made it. Expandable Products LLC out of Anaheim. So it's just a very, it's a soft-sided dressing. This is about two tablespoons full of dressing. It has a flip top cap so you can pour it, but it keeps your dressing contained. It doesn't leak. I toss it in my salad. I add my chicken. This is directly out of the freezer. It's still frozen. It keeps the salad cold for the day. It goes in there. I add my fork. the lid on and there is food to go. Now that looks like a lot of food. I may not eat all of it, but at least the options there. Sometimes I add a Grissini stick in a plastic baggie and put that in there also. Um, and that is, I have soccer, a soccer scrimmage this evening with my daughter and I'm not intending to eat out. And so this is going to be my meal. Uh, already pre-packed so that all I have to do is come home, pick her up, and grab my dinner and go. So there's an idea for you for a meal. All right, everybody, take care. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Ciao.